Hi everyone, Ksenia Pros here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined by Terence Davis. Hello everybody. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to demonstrate some of the basics of posing for men. So if you're looking for some inspiration or some guidance on how to pose male models when you're working with your clients, stick to this video. And if you want to learn more from me, visit my website at kiseniapro.com education where you can see more content for photographers or somebody who's interested in learning photography. And Terrence Davis is an actor living his dream in LA. Yes, yes. I've been in LA now for three years. I'm native Washingtonian. Love it. Acting was always my dream growing up. Now I'm doing it professionally and I can't be happier. Senya and I have always been shooting throughout the years. She's one of the best photographers I know in the industry. And um, yeah, we're going to show you some good stuff today, guys. So stay tuned. Yeah, awesome. And as you can tell, Terrence is pretty confident with being in front of the camera, right? Because this is your job. Yeah. <laughs> But still, like even if you're working with professional models, actors, they can't see what's happening in the moment in, on, in the camera. So you, they're always looking for some guidance from the photographers. So it's very useful. Like I hear from a lot of people that are pretty good with directions. Because I know you're pretty good with posing. Mm -hmm. How did you learn that? Like how did you get around um, getting um, better at this? I guess just years of watching other models and other actors and entertainers do it. Um, and of course, you know, I throw my own little spin onto it for the, for the most part. So that helps the yeah. It's genetics. Okay. <laughs> I was Don't born, say I was that. Born with it. You can learn the stuff. I was born with it. No, we're gonna we're gonna teach you guys. We're gonna give you some tips. So I mean it's definitely easier for some people more than the others, but let me show you a few basics that you can follow so you can make anybody look better in the pictures. So for, for girls, it's all about the curve, okay? For men, it's more like about straight lines and being stronger and kind of like straighter in the pictures, more masculine. So Terrence here has a great physique already, so it's gonna be easy. But for any man, you can make them look kind of like bigger, wider in the shoulders, smaller in the waist. So for example, now he's turned towards the camera. You can put your hands kind of like in the pockets a little bit, slightly bit, and make sure when he's standing, a lot of men do this, kind of like, I'm cool. Which, can you demonstrate? <laughs> so when they just like, they don't know what to do with them. Yeah, they kind of do this. And when you push your hips towards the camera, they start looking bigger. And if you have a little bit, like not a six pack, but like a little bit of the okay. body weight around okay. here. Yeah. yeah, so it looks even bigger towards the camera. So instead of just like stand straight, and if you bring your shoulders towards the camera just ever so slightly, you're gonna look bigger, like in the shoulders. So, and then the other thing, that I see a lot with my like non-model clients for like family shoot or any kind of like personal session. A lot of guys naturally, even Terrence just did it, we did a shoot, he did this pose. And I'm like, what's up with this soccer pose? <laughs> Everybody does you it. No, no. Naturally, because you don't know what to do with your hands and I, I get it. So if you don't know what to do with your hands, pockets is the easiest thing. If you have pockets, you can do this. You can do one in the pocket, right? You can do, if you wear a jacket like he does right now, you can just kind of like hold on to your jacket, but make it look natural so it's not like, okay, I'm here, it's my passport picture. Or you can kind of like, kind of fix the color. So it's more like a fashion shoot, you can do like a little bit of this. You can mm -hmm. just yeah. like, just kind of like being cool and you know, yeah. You can put the color down, just like touch it. Well, like the way you did, just naturally, just watch your models. They kind of like do the hand thing, or like can you just do, or like press on your hands like that. Or you can do kind of like this when sitting down, yeah. Or the other thing that I love for guys, especially for close-ups, when you do like the stumble thing. Yeah, that's like a cool close-up shot. And one more thing to make it easier for your clients, it's um, it's more pressure when you just stand in like in the space and I don't know what to do with your body. If you give them something to do, even just like lean on the wall, can you kind of come closer to the wall? And just leave naturally, put one hand in the pocket, maybe cross your leg. You already look so much cooler without even trying. So and it's like super easy for anybody to do. And even from this pose, turns if you can come. So it's the same thing, you leaning. And I will literally show it to my clients. So lean like that and just kind of like come a little bit closer to the camera with your shoulders without being slouchy. Yeah, that's perfect. So another easy, easy things for them to do is a lot of guys like them. It's like a go-to pose for a lot of shoots when it's like not like a model issue but somebody who doesn't know how to pose you can let them step like their feet apart a little bit so it's like a strong pose and go like cross your arms so a lot of people who do construction and they do shoots so they like do that like just it's a like just powerful, powerful pose for guys right mm -hmm. and again like when you stand 
he has like a slimmer fit on his blazer. I don't want him to look too small here, okay? Because he has like good muscle body weight. So just like flex, like, yeah, this is a good pose too. See how you look like square to the camera, you look bigger. And sometimes I ask guys to even like flex for the picture, you know, just, yeah. See the difference in these? <laughs> okay, let's see the difference on camera. And see when he's flexing, he looks so much stronger in the beginning of the shirt. Mm -hmm. Good. And you can do one for like, even if you put your hand in the pocket and still flex a bit. Yes, there we go. And you can even like touch your face or like the t-shirt a little bit. Mm -hmm. Another easy thing to do, it's easier for your clients when they're actually sitting down because it's more relaxed and natural. So I'm gonna put this just easy stool for him to kind of like sit. If you have something for them to put their feet, kind of like bend, you, bend their leg and put the feet off, it could be the step stool, it could be just like a box. Um, so a lot of seniors, they use like apple box type of thing. So Terrence, you can come sit here, you don't have to close it to the wall. So to like play, yeah, this is exactly right. And it doesn't have to be in the studio, you can be outside, just use whatever is around you. Uh, we've done this pose like sitting on the railroad, you know, yeah. just on the tracks. <laughs> or anywhere, sitting on the floor by the wall, just get creative with whatever you have around you. Yeah. So this is a cool pose for guys when you kind of like put pressure here. Again, you look bigger here and you look kind of cool. And the other hand, make sure it kind of hangs kind of like soft and relaxed. Don't get blank with your eyes though, because I feel like you're staring into like a blank spot. Don't hang too close to me because I still want to get out of there. And this one like a little bit, yes, there we go. Beautiful. Get one more. And again, you can lean on the wall a little bit rather to make it even cooler. Another pose that you can do sitting down that looks great for men especially. So for men, when they're sitting, it's okay for them to open their legs towards the camera. I wouldn't do it for women unless it's like a very specific shoe. So you can actually put both feet kind of like on the floor, so it's straight on. Yeah, just like that. So lean forward, kind of like you can, you know, not clench, but like just hold your hands together. Lean forward again so the shoulders are closer to the camera. Yeah, right there. That's cool. And you can even like lean forward a little bit more. Yeah, like that. That's beautiful. So the closer you are to the camera, the more it feels like you're actually communicating with me. Yes. That brings me to another point. So you don't have to do it sitting down. It could be like hanging over something like a rail, the back of the stool, back of the chair. So just get creative depending on what you have in your environment or in your house. And another sitting down pose that's easier to do with guys, I do with girls too sometimes, but it makes you look so much cooler when you sit like on the floor or on the ground. So I'm gonna demonstrate it to you guys. Let's switch places really quick. So here in the corner, so you can lean against the wall. It could be anywhere outside if it's like a wall of the house outside so for guys you said something like that and also like when you guys do something like that just kind of like nice and cool one leg is open one is kind of like tucked away but even if they do something like this that would be cool too yeah i wouldn't do it for girls as much right <laughs> but like for guys it works and you can always do your own take on the picture but make sure so i don't like when i start seeing the soles of their feet or the shoes just put it kind of like a little bit yeah like that it depends on the angle too. Not to the point that it's uncomfortable, just as long as it's not towards the camera. Yeah, yeah that's good. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And again, the same rules apply. With hands, you can either hold them, you can touch your stubble, you can like scratch the back of your head. Yeah, this is cool. So not in a girl. <laughs> so if you do kind of like this, it's more like a girly way. For guys, it's more like, yeah, it's not so much. Yeah, you can you can scratch kind of here or touch. Yeah, the forehead. This is good. And then let's change it up. So let's do more kind of this. Either way, we're on So when you're sitting, especially like he's very lean, but if you have like too tight of a pants or belt, make sure first of all if you can loosen it up just a little bit. It's okay. Nobody will know. Um, and just make sure you you can stretch the t-shirt a little bit. This is so looks straight, but like so it's like hanging. So it's creating like a hollow space illusion. So it makes you look smaller in the picture so you don't see anything extra. Thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you, Terrence, for demonstrating all the poses to us. 
Um, hopefully you learned something from this video. If you want to learn more from me, go visit my website. It's kiseniapro.com slash education. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and follow Terrence on his Instagram. What's your Instagram? Terrence L. Davis. Okay. I'll make sure to put all the links in the description below so you can check out his platforms.